Hello and welcome to another question for your emergency medicine boards. As the exams are approaching soon, you all must be getting ready to smash it. Without wasting further time, here we go. A 79-year-old lady is in the emergency department with complaints of a right-sided headache which started three days ago and was mild but now is radiating to the cheek and is intermittently severe. She also complains of long-standing bilateral shoulder pains and malaise. She has no comorbidities. Her right visual acuity is 6 by 24 with normal eye movements. She has a temperature of 38.2 Celsius. The most appropriate next step in management of the patient is CT scan, FBC with ESR, CRP, lactate, blood culture and antibiotics, paracetamol, steroids. You can pause and make a choice. Be honest with yourself before proceeding ahead. Let us dissect the scenario over here. It's an elderly lady with a headache radiating to the cheek. There is reduced visual equity, but eye movements are not painful. There's shoulder pain and malaise. Fever is present as well. So the right diagnosis over here for an elderly with headache which is radiating to the cheek and reduced visual acuity, I would go ahead and say this is a classical presentation of giant cell arthritis. I know I always mention that a headache and a fever is meningitis or encephalitis. But look here, an elderly patient with vision loss and headache is giant cell arthritis. Let us look at the theoretical aspect over here. Giant cell arthritis or temporal arthritis is a vasculitis or an inflammatory condition of the external carotid artery. Age of the patient is usually about 50 years of age, but m most patients you will see will be much older maybe i would push it further to about 60 to 65 they may say they have temporal headaches or scalp headaches frontal headaches or there may be jaw claudication the temporal headaches uh, they may have tenderness on the temporal area or the scalp area there's a very very strong association with a condition called polymyalgia rheumatica polymyalgia rheumatica presents with malaise bilateral shoulder pain, joint pains, etc. If you get the ophthalmic artery or the central retinal or posterior ciliary artery involvement, it may lead to irreversible vision loss. So you need to be very careful and we need to be acting immediately on these patients. I mentioned over here something called as optic neuritis. The symptoms or uh, the signs of optic neuritis overlaps with giant cell arthritis. However, if you see optic neuritis is a presentation commonly associated with multiple sclerosis, which is a disease of the young mostly. And here giant cell arthritis is the disease of the old. The other differentiating factor is optic neuritis in multiple sclerosis will present as painful eye movements Whereas here, the eye movements were not painful. So what do you see in optic neuritis? What you see is red desaturation. So when you present them the red color, with the normal eye, they can appreciate the red color. But with the abnormal eye, it's faded red. There can be a relative afferent pupillary defect. Papilledema, that is the pale and swollen disc, and visual loss, which can be bilateral in about 30% of the patient. So temporal arthritis is giant cell arthritis is optic neuritis without pain. Giant cell arthritis investigation and management. Yes, you will do a full blood count. You may see anemia of chronic disease and thrombocytosis. You will do an ESR erythrocyte sedimentation rate and CD active protein levels. Uh, both of them definitive investigation would be doing a temporal artery biopsy these days we are also moving ahead with the ultrasound we see a halo sign on the ultrasound but i will leave that to the rheumatological team to decide what they want to do but the but the main 
a point over here is you need to treat them now you need to treat them don't wait for your investigations you will make a clinical diagnosis start the treatment do not wait for the test to be back and definitive test will take a while to happen the treatment is prednisolone 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 one milligram per kg body weight and uh, plus or minus aspirin there are not many studies which say use aspirin but uh, based on how bad is the risk and how bad is the thrombocytosis uh, and the bleeding tendency you decide whether you want to give aspirin or not the referral will go to two specialties rheumatology and ophthalmology so the right answer over here was giving the lady with steroids why we didn't do a CT scan? Mild fever can be present. She is elderly. Neurology is normal. If we want to do, we can do it later on. But first step would be steroids. As I said, we do send the bloods, but don't wait for the results. This does not look meningitic, meningitic to me. Paracetamol will be helpful, but steroids takes priority. So... I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy, please consider subscribing and sharing this video. Hit the join button and uh, thank you for watching it. Once again, study well, enjoy your studies. Peace.